So coolers have come a long way in the last decade and Roto molded coolers are incredibly efficient, but it still makes a difference if you follow a couple best practices when you're packing the cooler. We have seven tips that you're gonna love today. And if you stick it out to the end, we even have a tip that's gonna show you how to keep your favorite beer at an optimal drinking temperature. Number one, roto molded coolers work a lot better if they are pre-chilled. So you have a couple options. If it's the winter time, you're in a cold climate, you can just leave it outside overnight. If you have access to a walk-in cooler, lucky you, you can leave it in there or simply sacrifice a bag of ice the night before and let it cool down. Number two, cold air sinks. So make sure you put your frozen meats and vegetables in the cooler first. Number three, remember that for maximum cold, a full cooler is much colder than a cooler that has a lot of airspace in it. And a really easy way to take care of this problem is to use bottles of frozen water. Go ahead and pack those tight around all the items in the bottom of the cooler. Number four, immediately on top of the frozen food and the frozen water bottles goes your primary ice. Remember that bigger chunks of ice are gonna last a lot longer in the cooler. And as you're still doing this, you can still take the time to go ahead and put in frozen water bottles to fill in any loose space you have. Number five, on top of the ice and the frozen items, you are gonna start putting in things that you are accessing on a more regular basis. So we got milk and cheese and OJ, ketchup and mustard and hot dogs and things like that that you're gonna be grabbing throughout the day. Number six, this is a little known but important trick. On top of your essentials layer, you wanna put some sort of insulating layer. So that could be maybe cut out a piece of an old wool blanket or a foam sleeping mat or something similar. You're gonna put that on top of the food, make sure you cut it about the size of the cooler. That way when you go to grab things from the essentials layer, you just lift up a little corner and grab whatever you're looking for. All right, lucky number seven is the beer tip that we promised. If you're drinking something like a Ballast Point Fathom IPA, the optimum temperature for that is gonna be around 45 or 50 degrees. At that temperature, it's gonna release all those tiny hops that you've been thinking about on the trail all day long. And so what we like to do at this point is then start to layer this last layer here with the beer. That's going to keep it at, like I said, right around 45, 50 degrees. It's gonna release all that flavor you are dying for. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about packing your camping cooler for maximum efficiency and flavor. <laughs>